nothing will ever be the same. Hello agents, I'm Susanna Moyer on location in Brooklyn, New York, and this is the Ingress Report. At primary and satellite sites around the world, agents have gathered for the Aegis Nova anomalies. The Resistance believe that by controlling the anomaly, they can block Roland Jarvis in his mind-hacking attack on Clue, an attack aimed at extracting valuable data from Clue's mind about Ada's vulnerabilities. The Enlightened have rallied in large numbers to support Jarvis in his struggle against Ada. The fate of Clue hangs in the balance. Aegis Nova began in Tainan, Taiwan, where Deborah Bogdanovich and thousands of agents converged for the action. I used to be the leader at the Niantic project. But after a baton, I lost all my memories of that era. At the satellites, the Enlightened push hard for victory. In Chiang Mai, they dominated the flash shards, controlling 9 of the 12. The resistance performed slightly better in the cluster battle, but despite controlling the portals for three measurements, they could not achieve their goal. Chiang Mave ended in an enlightened victory 208 to 101. Hello, I'm Black Agent X. In Manila, the Enlightened captured eight shards to just one for the Resistance. The Enlightened also held tight control over the cluster portals, controlling all four measurements and capturing the site for their faction, 324 to 77. Uh, I'm from Tainan was intense and highly competitive. The resistance held the upper hand with the flash shards by capturing 55 to 41, but the enlightened excelled in the cluster battle. They controlled three of the four measurements, leaning heavily on links and fields to boost their scores. The Enlightened emerged with a razor thin victory. 2,488 to 2,414, a margin of just 74 points. The battle then moved to Rotterdam. Jahan was there attempting to rally agents to her cause. We must free Clue from the Acolyte and from Roland Jarvis. After falling behind in Asia, it was the Resistance's turn to fight back. At the pad of the satellite, they initially struggled to gain a lead in the flash shards, but by capturing eight in the last hour, compared to one by the Enlightened, they raised their count to 20 versus 15. In the cluster battle there, they managed to capture three of the four measurements, bringing their winning total at the site to 1,105 versus 830. When you travel to these anomalies to different countries, you meet different cultures, di different architectures, different people, so, so, so meeting Everyone who is different, that's, that's really nice, really nice experience for me. Looks nice outside, so I'm really looking forward to playing with my hardcore anomaly team. The, the new uh, hybrid anomaly thing is going to be really exciting. It's going to be a strain on all of us. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of chaos. In Cape Town, the Enlightened continued their push towards overall victory. They held a slight edge with the flash shards, controlling eight to five, and won three of the four cluster battle measurements. The Enlightened captured that site 259 to 125. We learn here things from teams from other people that we take back to our community to grow. We'll do shards, we'll do uh, uh, cluster portals, uh, so uh, 
um, we have strategy which we, we wouldn't like uh, to share uh, just now. <laughs> It's actually for me. It's my tenth anomaly already. So yeah, thank you. So I'm trying to to help uh, the resistance and trying to attend every every major anomaly. In Rotterdam, the resistance aggressively dominated the anomaly zone. They captured 41 flash shards compared to just 19 for the enlightened, and also led at every cluster measurement. The site ended in a resounding resistance win, 3,179 to 1,508. And I'm here in Brooklyn, the final primary anomaly site with P.A. Chapeau. Chapeau's connection to both Clue and Ada has special significance today given what's at stake. I had the chance to speak with both enlightened and resistance agents about today's fight. Is the social element what you like most about Ingress? I do, that's why it took me a little over a year and a half to get to level 12, because I'm always out with other friends, walking, hiking. Just the wide number of different people, gamers and non-gamers, and people you wouldn't even expect to even be playing, that are playing. I'm mostly just kind of like, uh, like the guy I like to blow things up, you know, everyone likes to use their, their boom booms. So uh, I'd like to do that. I also like to help out every once in a while and do coordinate ops. With the first part of the day nearly split between Enlightened and Resistance, much weighed on these final sites. The Resistance was strongest in St. Paul. There they captured all 48 flash shards, a lockout, and also controlled two of the four cluster battle measurements. In large part, and thanks to their aggressive shard tactics, they captured the site 1,063 to 300. Savannah was much the opposite. The Enlightened controlled 34 shards to 8 for the resistance and also dominated all four cluster battle measurements. The satellite belonged to them, 1,115 to 165. Right now I walk like uh, 8 miles a day playing Ingress wow. uh, before I just took my car or, or used the public transportation. Now I walk all over the places, change my roads every day. Uh, meet a lot of people. Brooklyn was a dramatic and fiercely contested site. Initially, the Enlightened led in the flash shards, but over the course of the last two hours, the resistance fought back, ultimately taking a slim margin, 38 to 36. At measurement one, the resistance dominated the cluster battle as well, but their lead slipped as the anomaly progressed. The Enlightened leaned heavily on links and connected fields to boost their performance and ultimately claimed the site 1,911 to 1,483. The Enlightened! With primaries being worth two points and satellites worth one, the first day of the Aegis Nova anomalies ended favorably for the Enlightened. They currently lead the Aegis Nova series eight to four and for the resistance, much rests on the anomalies of June 25th. With their victory, the Enlightened have taken the lead in Aegis Nova and allowed Roland Jarvis to probe Clue's mind for information about Ada. What he discovers there could have profound implications for the AI and for all of us. The Enlightened will use Clue against Ada. Agents, please continue to share your adventures on G+, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram using the hashtag Ingress. Like this video and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. For the Ingress Report, I'm Susanna Moyer. Jarvis, I knew you would be here. During the Brooklyn anomaly, I received a message that my father was on board a ship offshore, false flagged, de Glocker. I was warned that it might be a trap, but I went anyway. Well, the trap didn't work. I managed to get on board the ship and I spoke to my father. He told me he knew how the Aegis Nova is going to be weaponized, and he's hidden that information within the portals. Luckily, it's encrypted, and I'm the only one with the key.